In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the torque using Maxwell. Um, so uh, this model is the uh, permanent magnet motor. Um, the most straightforward way to get the torque is through this transit report. Uh, here we can go to the torque, and this moving torque is the torque for the whole model. Um, and in here. And here, like even though we only simulate uh, a quarter model, but uh, we use like the proper uh, depend uh, independent and the dependent uh, boundaries to represent the full model. And here in the uh, design setups, uh, we have the uh, symmetry multiplier, the fraction of and the fractions is four. So uh, this one moving talk, uh, this uh, this represents the um, total uh, total talk. And also because this is the 2D model, so in the design settings, um, under the model setups, here we have uh, uh, the, uh, the setup for the model depths. So um, and uh, the second way to get the torque is through the Maxwell stress tensor, um, and the um, uh, the tangential of force density uh, can be calculated based on this formula. This BR and the BT uh, represent uh, the flex density along the radius direction and the flex density along the tangential direction. So and um, so in order to calculate uh, in order to calculate torque using this method, first we need to create an arc um, in the L gap between the rotor and uh, and the stator. So the, the, this arc uh, from from the beginning to the end. Uh, and then we go to the fuse calculator. Fuse calculator. And here we can define the uh, tangential uh, force density. Mm. Here be R, B, theta, according to, uh, to this formula. And this B R B theta represents uh, the flux density uh, along the radius direction and the flux density along the tangential direction, and this can be uh, calculated based on the flux density. Uh, so first we can convert this flux density um, in Cartesian um, coordinate system into the cylindrical coordinate system. We first select the two cylindrical. And then uh, if we want to choose uh, the radius direction, we can come to here, scalar x. Um, this, uh, this one is the same as, uh, as the here. And then you, oh, you can add it and name it. I've already done that and named it the uh, BR, the, the flux density along the radius direction. And similarly, um, if we choose the scalar y, then that will be the tangential direction uh, Tang uh, tangential component of the flux density. And then we get the uh, tangential f uh, force density using this formula. And now uh, we can uh, get the torque. So uh, the, for the torque, uh, we integrate this uh, force density um, along with the L gap we, uh, we defined. And then uh, we can uh, multiply that by by this value, which is the distance between the arc and the region. And then we multiply by the model depths converted into 3D, and considering about, uh, about the uh, symmetry multiplier 4 to represent the full model. Uh, the third way to calculate the torque um, is to use the uh, the H force density vector um, in the uh, in the field calculator, and in order to calculate that, we need to create the state line um, 
this state line, if I hide everything else and just to show the state line, so this state line you see is the uh, is the age of the state. So um, now we can calculate the full stance. Uh, we can calculate the torque uh, through this state line and uh, this age for density. So to do that, first we need to um, cross product uh, the uh, uh, the uh, this uh, H force density and the position vector, and then we get the uh, torque density, and uh, the torque we needed is along the z direction, so we choose the scalar z, and then we integrate uh, this torque density with the uh, the state line we just uh, created uh, to get the torque. And then considering about the model depths and the uh, symmetry uh, multiplier to get the torque for the 3D model. And if we compare the results, so we can see that uh, the results from uh, uh, from these three different methods match. Um, and I mean, if you need to get the uh, torque for this entire model, you don't need to worry about the other two methods. You can get the talk from the transit report directly. But if you need the talk specifically in the local T region, and then you can use these two methods to uh, get uh, the, um, the talk in the local region.